All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Gartner DNA, and I'm super excited to be with Casey, who's the CEO, founder. Now, the founder. I decided that this is getting too big. We need someone to come in, a professional management team. So, the great part is I'm still a founder, I'm still on the board, and I get to do all the cool stuff. Yes. And I got other people do all the hard stuff. <laughs> Prometheum is doing fantastic in this space, and I've been seeing closely. I know we spoke at Gartner London. Yes. Uh, and Big Data London. Big Data London. Yes. yes. We're going to Gartner London after this. Okay. So we'll be there again. All right. So May is when that is happening. So super yes. excited about that. Yeah. Um, also, Casey, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what's happening at Prometheum. You're not a new face to the Ravi show. <laughs> well, thank you so much. So I'm Casey Lyons. Ravi mentioned I'm founder of Prometheum. Started the company about seven years ago, really with the mission that enterprise analytics really needs to be a lot easier. Right. And it cannot be just for the big boys, right? Because it's too complex, too much exactly. money being spent. So Prometheum, we built a data fabric to really simplify the whole data stack, mm -hmm. but also provide an easy experience so that anyone, regardless of business user, data analyst, data engineer, can all ask a question and get to the right answer, right? So that's what we're really focused on. We're really happy to be recognized as cool vendor yes. right, by Gartner, so that's fantastic. And we're gaining a lot of traction now with great enterprise customer adoption, huge win at National Grid, right? Exactly. Um, the pre UK's premier energy provider, and utilities yes. provider, uh, Vital Farms, you know, the CIO came and spoke with me uh, on stage at Gartner on Monday. So we're getting a lot of great adoption. People are now realizing that to get Gen AI to work, they really need something like a data fabric. Yes. Because they really need to know, number one, can I trust the data? Very true. Anyone can do text to SQL. That's not the <laughs> differentiation anymore. The hard part is, can I do it with data from all my sources? Not just Very a single important. data warehouse, number one. Number two, how? How did you do it? How do I know it's right? Show me where the data came from. Show me it was assembled properly. Show me it has the right context. Mm. And that's where the data fabric actually gives you. Yes. Right. I think uh, you've mentioned something pretty cool. Uh, that is, you know, okay, everyone can do text to SQL, but then it's about the sources as well. Uh, I'm also curious, since we are at Gartner, you're, you've been talking to a lot of analysts, I've been seeing, you've been obviously chatting with enterprise leaders, prospects, your booth has been all time busy. Yeah. Uh, I've been seeing that since uh, last two days. Uh, so I'm excited to hear, what are you hearing from them? What's the messaging there? Yeah. Uh, kind of curious. Yeah, so I think now we're kind of reached a point where people really love the fact that when they ask a question, they get an answer back, Very right? True. So this question answer framework, and you know, a data answer from Prometheum is more than just a SQL query, yes. right? Which is what most organizations, most vendors you walk around the booth, it's kind of what you see is a SQL query. But did it really answer the question, right? Maybe not, and so what we're really proud of is we're going to give you a complete answer. Hmm. We're going to give you an answer in text, we're going to give you an answer in the SQL, we're going to give you an answer in visualization, we're going to give you an answer in the lineage, nice. we're going to give you an answer in the explanation of the AI as well, so that way, it's a full, complete data product that True. has full context of who asked it, what their role was, reverse lineage, forward-looking lineage, what else is this related to and has been built on. And that way people can look at that and get just the full context of why it is it's important and now I've really answered my question. Yeah. No, I think uh, that is something pretty important for enterprise leaders out there because that was one challenge that uh, they were facing maybe two and a half years, three years back, but obviously since forever. Yeah. But uh, uh, this is something which is kind of, you know, end-to-end, um, -end, you know, platform for them uh, yes. to uh, pursue for sure. Also, one more quick question that I had was around the use cases. Yes. I know you've been, you know, obviously catering to, you know, obviously energy companies like National Grid, yeah. uh, other big names, big logos that you'll have. Yeah. Any use cases, particularly industry-wise, that you would like to share? Yeah, so I think the, the use cases for Prometheum are you know, yep. usually pretty simple, right? It, it usually starts with, you've got a small data team or a data team maybe that's overworked, and there's no way that you can keep adding more data engineers and high, high skill labor, so exactly. the only way is to allow some type of self-service and empowerment. Very true. And the only way to do that is to do it in a way where it's not complex. You don't require PhDs, right? right. And so. This is where we really pride ourselves in. Not only do we generate uh, the output in a way that the technical teams mm -hmm. really can understand and verify, 
but it's simple enough for the business and non-technical users to be able to instantly see, understand their answers, and then reiterate on the fly, right? So they don't need help to ask the question, iterate. It's truly a chat and engaging experience. Uh, so what, that's some, a use case that we always see all the time. Yep. Sometimes you're not able to start there and you want to start baby steps. Mm. And so the baby steps is, look, I've got data sources everywhere. Multiple clouds, on-prem, multiple types. Can you just help me get a single view of all my data? So true. Right? Yeah. Classic data fabric yeah, use case. And so we do that really, really well. And when you do that, then the second use case opens up. Well, gosh, now that I have visibility, access, governance across all these sources, can I build? Can I engage Great. and interact with the data? So those are the two core use cases we see all the time. I love it. Uh, one more question that I have for you is around what's next? Like in, I wouldn't say, you world, know, world domination, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't say, uh, uh, you know, say next to two to three years, but maybe six to 12 months. What's next that you're kind of seeing in this space? Well, I think one of the things that we're seeing is Gen AI is propelling things <laughs> at just breakneck speed, right? Yes. And so I think we're at the point now, everyone's talking about agents, right? Yeah. Uh, the age of the AI agent is definitely here. I was just doing a podcast on that yesterday at Insight nice. Jams. And what we realize is, We've gone to the point where the agents can not only perform a task really mm. well, but I think the next thing is we're going to be able to perform the task with the right persona, mm. and then from there going to evolve into an entire workflow. Yeah. So yeah. it's not as simple as, here's all my documentation and training, do this one task. You're going to see entire workflows completed. And we're already seeing some of that, right? So in the yeah. industry, you're seeing like finance teams, accounting teams, like accounts payable, that being like completely automated with agents. And Prometheum has already been leading that, right, with our exactly. you know, data answer agent where you ask a question. If you think about it, asking a question and getting an answer, that is actually a very complex task because you have to do the discovery to figure right. out what data you have. You have to figure out the rationalization of, well, if I have 60 columns called revenue, which one do I pick? Hmm. If I had, can join this table eight different ways, which one do I pick? Yes. So you're going through all that agentic process to figure that out, Very then you're true. creating SQL, and then you're executing. So that's the important part. You have to be able to execute. That's true okay. agent agentic yeah. framework, right? And then once you execute, you verify, and you show the output. So in a way, we've already started doing this, right? Mm. But I think we're going to see a lot more of that to come. Um, not just from Promethean, but from the market in general. So you will see exactly. entire workflows now mm. uh, being automated uh, through agentic architecture. I love it. And what I hear is also the regulated industries like finance, healthcare are kind of getting into the agent space and are now confident about you know the execution piece. Yes. Like obviously it's getting there like six to 12 months, maybe we'll be in a much better place. Uh, yes. And as an industry, it's kind of picking up pretty well. Well, so this is the irony, right? Yeah. Uh, most people, when they think of like highly regulated industries like banking, finance, healthcare, they always think, oh, they're the slowest to adopt exactly. because of all the regulation. Yeah. But this is the crazy and beautiful thing about agentic architecture. Mm. If you have well-documented procedure, process, workflow. It becomes faster? That's what the agents do. Oh, wow. That's what the it. agents do. That's yeah. exactly what they need. So, the irony is that all those things that used to slow down these well-regulated industries, with agentic architecture, it actually puts them ahead of everyone else. Because it's already very much organized and structured internally. It's very easy for the agent to learn and fix, like they have all those complex workflows mapped out. If this right. happens, go here. Oh, that didn't happen, here's three other paths. Exactly. The agent can reason that, right, in milliseconds, way faster than the human being can, yeah, automatic exactly. process. So, this is actually kind of really cool because mm. these industries are actually the backbone for yeah. like our, our economy, many economies, and typically they're lackers. But with Agentic, watch out. Like you're seeing this now deployed in fraud banking, right, in, yes, in all these different exactly. use cases. And I see a lot more of that to come. So this is where like it's just so disruptive and it's kind of it's kind of cool to be alive at this age, right? <laughs> Super exactly. exciting. Yeah. Super interesting times for sure. Uh, these are fantastic insights, uh, Casey. One more quick thing that I wanted to you know ask you was about uh, what's next for Prometheum? What are you planning? Uh, maybe, yeah, again, six to 12 months, what's next? Well, I sh probably shouldn't be sharing the roadmap right now because yes. my VP of product may, <laughs> may not be too happy with me. Uh, but I think you, 
we've already shown you a glimpse of what could happen with yeah. the data answer agent, right? Being able to ask a question, right? Be able to not only answer it, but show you all the work behind it. That's just one workflow, yep. right? That workflow is basically generating the query, the visualization, et cetera, to answer the question. But there's tons of things, right, in the whole data analytics and BI space, hmm. tons of different workflows. Uh, what about pipelines, for example, right? Exactly. Uh, what about documentation, right? For example, in the, on the governance side, hmm. right? What about, you know, uh, cost observability, right? So there's, there's a lot of things that can go into it, right? That yep. either, either we're going to go or we can partner, right, with other right. folks to do. But I think this is what's super exciting is that we've already unlocked, right, that first workflow end to end. Um, so that way it looks more than just like an AI assisted coworker. It's actually a fully automated, you know, workflow and task and function. Right. So imagine other important workflow tasks and functions now coming down the line. Fantastic. No, I love it, uh, Casey. This is uh, such an interesting conversation. It's always good to get all the great insights because you have a very in-depth uh, you know, knowledge about not only just the space, but you talk to so many enterprise leaders, you have such great customers, you get all the use cases for us. So Thank you. thanks again for uh, you know obviously always sharing all these insights. You we'll bet. keep the co uh, conversation continued. I know you'll be at uh, various other conferences this yes. year, so we'll uh, obviously keep everyone posted about it, but uh, always such a pleasure chatting with you. Thank, Thank you, you so once much, again. Yes. Give you a hug. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone.